Hello all, and welcome back to another episode of Left of Meta. As always, this show is designed to highlight decent to good sets that can be good for newer players due to the ease of acquiring them compared to the meta sets like Reliquin, Basse, Yolnagrin, and Olorime. Now, a couple of ground rules for these. They have to be Overland, PvP, Crafted, or Base Game dungeon sets, and should be relatively easy to acquire for not a ton of gold. And they'll be tested alongside other sets, which will be listed in the video description, as well as linked down there. Uh, for DPS, these are almost always Mother Sorrow and the Maelstrom Staff. For healers, this is almost always the Spell Power Cure set. And for tanks, this is almost always Ebon Armory. But with all about that out of the way, let's roll on into today's set. This week's set has been one that's been on the docket for a while, but I've never actually done for some reason. Uh, the Burning Spellweave set from City of Ash. So City of Ash is technically two dungeons, City of Ash 1, which is relatively easy to do, and City of Ash 2, which is stupidly long and somewhat difficult. If you're farming this for the first time, I recommend City of Ash 1. I recommend playing through City of Ash 2 at least once, because it is a pretty good dungeon, it's just that it's long. This set gives the following benefits. At two items, it adds 1096 maximum magicka, at three items, it adds 129 weapon and spell damage. At four items, it adds 657 critical chance. And at five items, when you deal damage with a flame damage ability, you apply the burning status effect to the enemy and increase your weapon and spell damage by 490 for eight seconds. This effect can occur once every 12 seconds. Now, this set gives a lot of weapon and spell damage. I feel like I say this a lot on this show, but 490 is a lot of weapon and spell damage. This is technically comparable to trial sets for the amount of damage it gives you. And unlike sets like Strength of the Automaton or Gifts of the S or Silks of the Sun, which is a very similar set but just for fire damage, this applies to all of your damage, not just one type of it. So this isn't gain 490 damage to your fire damage spells. This is gain 490 damage to all of your abilities, not just your fire damage spells. Unfortunately, this set has a couple of downsides. The obvious, uh, her the obvious one to point out would be that you need fire damage, but fire damage is really easy to come by. You can run a fire staff, and you usually are on a DPS, so that's not really that hard, and half the time your class features will give you fire damage anyways. But the big downside to this set is that it has a 66% uptime. You're not always going to have this active, even if you're constantly dealing fire damage throughout the fight, because it only lasts for 8 seconds and can occur once every 12. So, you tend to lose damage the longer the fight goes on compared to a more always-on set, but that's usually okay. All in all, this is a good set. It's an instant 490 damage with no buildup, and if you're in a shorter fight or a trash fight, yeah, you just you can just wipe things out. But if you're in a much longer fight, that downtime is going to lose you damage over the course of it. But that's about all for this week. Hope you enjoyed. We will see you next week for more Left of Meta. If you did enjoy it, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. And until then, good luck, stay safe, and don't die.